We saw the movie and you are absolutely breathtakingly gorgeous here and in the movie. Thank you. What on earth was it like having those contacts in your eyes? Because they definitely stood out from the rest of the vampires. You know what? It was it was quite hellish at times, but I, I, I didn't have as many bad experiences. It bothered a lot of people a lot. It was annoying. You know, you definitely got a headache after several hours, but I mean, it was bittersweet. Let's put it that way. <laughs> you had to do it, so yeah. you just swallow it. You did it. Yeah. And I feel like you had your, was your hair a little bit different also for the movie? Like white blonde. Did you know you were going to have to dye it or no. at what point did they say you're going to dye it? When I went yeah. to the fitting and they were like, you know, this will look really good when you, you bleach your hair out. And I was like, well, sorry, what did you just say? <laughs> my, my hair, bleach my hair? So, but, you know, that's part of the game. That's part of the deal. Exactly. Now, so. Rewind back to the audition process. I mean, you're coming into a franchise that has such a crazy fan following. It's so established. Were you extra nervous for it? Were you excited? Yeah, no, I was totally nervous. And um, the worst part about it was is that it took like three and a half months of them bringing me in and out and back and forth. Really? And by the time I finally got the part, I was like, I can't, I, I'm not built for this. I am not built for this kind of pressure. I'm not built for this kind of stress. I quit. I'm going to go be a freaking towel girl at the Ritz Carlton in Jamaica because I can't handle this anymore. And my agent's like, will you shut up? You got the part. And I was like, oh, really? OK, great. Wonderful. Yay! Now, you got to be a part of a really iconic scene, the wedding scene. Take us there. What was it like shooting it? Well, OK, it was very cold and wet, but the production designer did such an incredible thing. I mean. That place looked like a fairy magical wonderland of hanging flower gardens and twinkle lights and it was incredible. It was so beautiful. It really was. Yeah. Do um, you have to and actually like, and, 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 and and Kristen none of us saw her dress until she actually walked down the aisle. Oh really? So all of us reacting to this seeing her in, coming down the aisle in the dress. It was actually the first time that we all saw her in the dress. That's amazing. Yeah. That dress is gorgeous and looks so beautiful on I know. her. Carolina Herrera, I met her and she said she liked my dress and I was like, <gasps> You met her tonight? We're having a fashion moment. You met her tonight? Yeah, yeah, over there. Oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah, and she was like, I love your dress. And I was like, okay, I'm, I can die now. Yes, you can. Carolina Herrera said yes. That's amazing. Yeah, can you please tell us about your dress? It is really cool. It's, um, it's Falguni and Shane Peacock. They're from Mumbai, India and they're a married couple and they're just awesome, and I called. I, I had worn one of their dresses in a, in a photo shoot, uh -huh. and um, I contacted their representative, and I was like, I want to wear them, and I want to be the only one wearing them. <laughs> and somehow, after some very charming afternoons and and, and manipulation tactics, I, I I did. I pulled it off. Why don't you just say you're a part of the Twilight Saga, right? Special yeah, star treatment. The, but being the only one, being the only person that's oh. wearing it. Yes, yes, yes. You pulled off quite a feat. Congratulations Thank on everything. So Thank you.